Hi, I'm Greg Stoll, and I'm going to show you why Flight Predictor is the best way to know ahead of time whether your flight is likely to be delayed. When you launch the app, it brings up the main screen, which is the list of flights you're currently tracking. Right now, there are none, so let's add one. Here we can find a flight by number or by route. Let's say we know the number, and we'll go ahead and tap Add. Now this particular flight has two different legs, so we'll pick the one that we're interested in. Now we can see the full information about the flight. This info is provided by flightcaster.com, which uses machine learning techniques and lots of historical data to predict whether the flight will be delayed. Here we can see it's predicted to be on time, as well as the probabilities it will be less than one hour late and more than one hour late to arrive. Below you can see the official status reported by the airline, as well as a list of factors that might affect the flight, including the inbound aircraft status, as well as weather or other issues at both airports. Now we can go back to the main screen and see that this flight has been added to the list of flights we're tracking, including the predicted arrival status. If we're not interested in this flight anymore, we can swipe it to the side and delete it. Here, I'll click cancel to keep it there. Now if you don't remember the flight number, you can search by route. To do that, we go over here and tap the origin button and start typing either the airport name, city, or three-letter code to search. Here I'll type AUS for Austin. And then we do the same thing for the destination. Here I'll type DFW for Dallas-Fort Worth. Now we can see all flights scheduled from Austin to Dallas, as well as their flight numbers and statuses. The best way to stay updated about the flight status is to let Flight Predictor automatically check for updates. When we have updated info, we'll see a notification down here, and we can click on it to see our various flights and their statuses. Now we can tap the flight to go get the full information about it. Um, in the Preferences screen, you can configure how often it'll check for updates. Note that Flightcaster works best starting six hours before the flight, so Flight Predictor won't check until that point, which will help conserve battery life. If you have any questions or problems with the app, you can contact me from the About screen, and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and enjoy Flight Predictor.